Uh, Antonio Brown woke up this morning and started posting several pictures on Instagram from inside the Saints facility. He posted his free agent waiver from the Saints. Yes, Antonio Brown is working out for the New Orleans Saints this morning, as he himself first reported. But there is an important caveat to all of this. The Saints are doing their due diligence. Obviously, they are interested in him as a football player. But from what I understand, based on what the NFL has announced and based on what I know regarding his investigation into allegations of sexual assault and rape, if anyone signs Antonio Brown, he will head to the commissioner's exemplist until his investigation is over. That means he is not expected to see the field in the 2019 season unless his investigation ends and unless he is completely cleared. Oh, so you see the shit right now. So Antonio Brown is headed to New Orleans for a workout today. Um, this is a fucking genius move. He's going to pass the physical. He's in tip-top shape. Look, if Marshawn Lynch could go a whole year without playing football and get cleared to pass his physical to return for the to the Seahawks, which is unfinished business, I think A.B. can do it too. When it comes to conditioning, I haven't seen a receiver that conditioned physically since T.O. and Jerry Rice. You know, the boy is you, – you can't question his work ethic. And like I told people, he was too talented for the NFL to for no one to pass up, for everyone to pass up on him for the whole year. I think this was strategic. I think the Saints waited at the end of the year because they knew no one else was going to bother him after he fucked up in New England. Because the Patriots, that's where most troubled players go and Belichick figures the way to get them, you know, to act right or whatever. And the Saints said, fuck it. Let's wait till the end of the year. And now you only have to deal with him for a couple of games. That's it. You got this week, week 17, and then you got two, three games in the playoffs. That's it. They're going to get a first round bye. They're already, I think, the number one seed. You know, like I say, Michael Thomas is a good receiver. He, I think he just broke Marvin Harrison's record of uh, reception record for the season. But teams play cover two. They double team him and they, they say, OK, beat us with somebody else because Kamara can't beat you deep down the field and stretch the field. They need other another receiver that can compliment Michael Thomas or he can compliment them in this case. Because I felt like even though they got screwed in, against the Rams last year, if they had another good receiver, that they could depend on that could stretch the field. They could have they could have blew the Rams out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Be honest. So this is a genius move. And what fucking what would the scenario be if they won the Super Bowl and Antonio Brown could give everyone his ass to kiss? Like y'all tried to take me out and I I won a Super Bowl anyway. Not only did I get a job back, I won. Like that would be crazy. <laughs> so so I'm rooting for him. I mean, it, it, he could he could fuck up again. And like I said, he's obviously bored. He's, he just put out a new single that's pending right now, some rock and roll shit. That's what happens when you focus on nothing but football and you can't play for, for a couple of months. You get bored and you do stupid shit. But, um, you know, I'm rooting for him. You know, I hope he doesn't let me down again, but he probably will. Who knows? If AB can't keep his shit together for a couple of weeks, then I don't know what. You know, Sean Payton isn't the disciplinarian that Belichick is, um, but I don't think he's the babysitter that Mike Tomlin was. So I don't know, you know, what they're going to tolerate in New Orleans. But like I say, it's only for a couple of games. If they can't put up with him or if he can't act right for three to four games, then this is it for him, you know. So, yeah, he's going to pass this physical, I'm pretty sure. And it's going to be official um, by sometime this evening. But, yeah, Antonio Brown is going to be a New Orleans Saint uh, breaking fucking news. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this is a team that's already with the one seed. Uh, no, they're the two seed, I think. The, the Seahawks got it? Well, the Seahawks had it. it. This shit changes in the NFC every fucking day. I don't know. <laughs> but um, they were already pretty much the most balanced team in the NFC. And I know the 49ers beat them. You can make an argument for the Niners, but I think this definitely puts them over the top if this works out. So this is a good move from the Saints. It's a gamble, but they were already a good contender without them, so it's not really a, a loss if it doesn't work, you know, how much damage could he do to a locker room that's close as they are with, you know, a couple of games? I think it's worth the risk. And um, Sean Payton's taking a gamble and pretty much giving a big fuck you to Roger Goodell. So, you know, I think he has the same animosity towards Goodell as Antonio Brown does. So this is going to be interesting, man. Antonio Brown's going to the Saints. You heard it from Irene Rappaport. I don't even, I, you know, I'll give you the source. I'm not making this shit up. I'm not an insider. But, yeah, this is going to be a crazy move, man.